What up? Tyler here, Tarver Academy. I wanted to throw some uh, my thoughts at you about IGTV, give you some kind of my thoughts on how it compares to YouTube, Vine, some of the other stuff, and then how it uh, eventually might play into education. So if you haven't heard, Instagram is adding a new component to their app uh, called IGTV. It'll be, you know, they introduced, uh, he was talking about it in 2013, it went from photo and then they added the video. I think it was, I think it started at 15 seconds and then they increased it to a minute or maybe, yeah, I think so. And so it went to a minute long is the limit now for uploading video. Um, and I think it has just only gotten more and more popular because like whenever I go to watch highlights for basketball games or anything like that, I go to Instagram first because it's quick and they, you know, summarize it. It's just, it's, it's very easy to stay on one thread of what you want, just roll through it and it starts playing immediately. Choose sound, not choose sound. Whereas YouTube, you click a video, go to it, and it takes you to you know where you are now. And then uh, they recently, like two years ago, in 2016, they introduced Stories, which is essentially what Snapchat was doing as their main feature. Besides you know the personal messages, you could send a a story for 24 hours same thing 24 hours stay in the story the stories have taken off people will go to stories or they'll go to like the feed and so I think video I mean it's just it's like a picture but you have audio you have person you have the personality adds to it even more um, and you can just get to know the people even better it tells a story that's that's what we like it uh, a picture tells a story and then video does too and so it's becoming more and more popular on Instagram. I think they're doing video pretty well, which there's not a lot of people doing video well. YouTube does it well, and then other people try. And so one of the things that I started thinking, because I saw a graphic that popped up, and it was just like Instagram trying to come after YouTube. Well, of course they are. I mean, there's three mediums. There's video, there's audio, and then there's like reading, okay? And so if you're looking at social media, video, YouTube's got the market. They can go long-form video. It's... They upload, I think the term is like over 300 hours per minute on YouTube is uploaded. So it, it's a big deal. Um, and the stockpile of, of stuff you have on there. Now here's the deal. YouTube, where I can see IGTV starting out is they're going to lean heavily into the creators. Whereas it's like, you know, that movement, it was, uh, you talked about with Vine, there were these people you watched and they were making, creating these six second silly videos or whatever it was. And they moved over to YouTube, and YouTube's always had creators, but I think it's really, besides YouTube being the place where you go to watch, like, oh, I'm gonna watch, you know, Jordan's highlights from, you know, a few years ago, you know, before he, a few years ago, before he uh, graduated from the NBA. All my words are wrong. All my words are wrong. It's, a, it's not this song, lyrics. Uh, so I think that where you go to YouTube is a lot of times you can go for multiple things. You can go to watch, you know, full content, you can watch presentations. I mean, podcasts have moved over to YouTube with regards to long audio content. They just like film the interviews. It's just essentially everything you could have seen on TV, but then you're adding in this element of pretty much you can buy a high quality DSLR for like a thousand bucks and make movie quality videos. And so it's like, it takes the production side out of it, it takes the middleman out and anybody can create. And so I think that you're I think that IGTV is going to try and recruit, I say recruit, they're going to try and employ the talents of those creators from what it sounded like. They want it to be a creator-centered community, whereas YouTube has creators, and that's like one of the best parts because that's where you get community, not on like a, you know, it's a Dwight True Funniest Moments video. You don't really build community there. You go to watch it and then you leave. You don't really subscribe and you go there, but you subscribe and tune in to creators. And I think that's what they're, they're going for. Will it stay that? We don't know. Vine wanted to be, like, they were wanting it to be, like, this real artistic thing where you go into six seconds and make something that's meaningful. And it became, like, you know, just generic jokes and, like, people being silly and saying things on there. From, and it wasn't, like, famous people. It was just people that were silly. And then they, a lot of careers were made out of Vine. I think the success of it in comparison to YouTube for creators... For big creators, it's going to depend on monetization. Because that's the thing with Instagram. You can have an amazing Instagram channel, but unless you're getting branded content, they're not giving you money. For somebody goes to your profile and looks around. You don't get money because people go to your Facebook page. You get money if you do like a brand deal. Uh, 
but when it comes to advertisements, they don't stick to ads on your page for Instagram. And so you're not going to make, they stick it in someone's feed. And so you're not making that money. Whereas YouTube, the ad is on your video. You make a percentage of that marketing money. So I think for big creators, it's going to come down to how, is, how much is Facebook, you know, because they own Instagram, how much is Instagram or Facebook, that company, willing to invest in creators up front to make this a place where creators want to be? Because there are several creators that are frustrated with YouTube because, um, you know, some of them, you know, use uh, inappropriate language, level one, two, three, or higher curse words. And so they're getting knocked from uh, monetization and taking away copyrights. There are multiple people have talked about it. Phil Franco's talked about it. Um, you know, Pie has gotten hit on it. He's the biggest subscriber-wise YouTuber. Uh, Logan Paul's been hit. You know, multiple large YouTubers are getting hit for, you know, what, they, what they're saying on there and what they're allowed to say without taking away the money from it. And once they get to that level, that's their paycheck. It'd be like you going into your day job and then, you know, oh, if you say something a certain way or act a certain way, then they're not paying you for that day. And so, I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that's what, the way that I was assumed they view it. I don't make a full living off YouTube, but they would because they do. And so that's how you view it. If you're going to dump the money into the monetization, I think that they will stay because they're looking for something. I think that if you're talking about small creators who are trying to find that thing that can jumpstart them into becoming full-time creators or YouTubers or whatever it is and make a career off social media. I think it is all gonna depend on how you pull people in to view their content. If you make it to where, hey, I just want everybody to see my big-time creators. On Instagram thinks that we just wanna push the views there. Big-time creators. Great, the creators know they're gonna get views. They're getting views somewhere else. That's how they're making a living off of creating. If you push the views towards smaller ones, they're going to be encouraged to put their content there. It's the same thing in Snapchat and Instagram, and they both did stories. And depending on where you were, had the attention. If I, if you had like, you know, 200 views per Snapchat story, but you're getting seven or 800 views on your Instagram story, you're going to feel more inclined to put it on Instagram because you're making the same amount of money from both of them, none at that point. And you're going to want to put it where you have the most attention, the most influence, where more people are seeing the stuff you're putting your time into. So I think they're going to get smaller creators if they tailor it to where those smaller creators are highlighted. High lit? Highlighted? No, nope, not high lit. That sounds dumb. Highlighted, like the magazine uh, that you saw in every doctor's office ever. Um, they would highlight these small creators to get the views, and I think that's where they're going to really see a lot of attention flow there. The advantage they have is people are already on their app. So like that app that came out, I don't remember what it was called, Vero or something, and it, it died, it came out, it was hot for a weekend, died out. It's because they didn't have attention there already. Instagram, when they added stories, they already had attention. When they added video originally in 13, they had attention. They've got attention from their basic photo portion of their app, and they've been slowly building and adding features to it. You know, YouTube's doing the same thing. YouTube. Hey Welcome back. Uh, YouTube's been doing the same thing. They've included, like, they're wanting to make theirs more of a stream, but it's video focused, and now they're moving into photo. Um, if you have a certain amount of subscribers, you can post a photo in the stream of your subscribers, graphics, photos. I'm seeing it more with, like, uh, like Colin Coward, you know, these people that are doing, they'll do NBA stuff, they'll post a picture of LeBron and put a graphic, there was a quote they said. But uh, I think everybody's trying to incorporate all these features, so we're not going to see, oh, look, Twitter is for text, you know, Facebook is for, you know, talking to your aunt, you know, YouTube is for long-form video, Instagram is for pictures. You're going to see more and more of all of them taking on the features of the other ones so that they can be the app you go to, and I think that's going to come down to a lot of monetization and attention depending on the size of the creator that's posting. Um, so how... How does this compare? How's it going to factor into education? Uh, you know, I'm an educator. What's up? So, how do I see it impacting that? I think that with it being an hour long, you could definitely tell stories. I think history teachers can tell stories. Honestly, with regards to that, it is all going to depend on how they, how IGTV incorporates searching within their app for video. So, if they allow you, if they like have an education category and they allow you to organize your content or if it's easy to search that content yes i think that they will be successful in the educational realm 
However, if they make it to where it's just like, oh, we're gonna tailor what you want around it, people don't just go in and want to see, oh, see a slow pitch step formula video. Let me see what I can find um, on my IGTV. No, you're gonna go where I know that that's an option, and I can go and start following a stream of videos tailored around that chapter or that section. So I think that that's going to have you outplayed. It really depends on the search. So I should see more tomorrow when they actually release the app. But I'm, uh, I'm excited. I'm pumped. I'm really, really um, looking forward to uh, this new feature. And we'll see what happens with it. All right, guys. Well, that's Tyler. I don't know why my voice changed then. Got weird. Weird little shaky. I apologize. I'm sure. I did try to, the first couple times I, I tried to record it, this is not what I looked for. This, I tried to band on there onto my GoPro thing that broke because now it's just like propped up. Didn't work. You don't care. I'm going to let you go. Thanks for checking out. If you were to subscribe, that'd be dope. Um, but then again, you know, three years may just be all on IGTV and you might be watching me like this. Hey guys, this is me, Tyler, talking to you. This is IGTV. What's up? Because that's what you're doing on IGTV. 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 You are looking and talking in vertical. So now I'm sideways because I'm posting this on YouTube. But maybe soon you'll see me on IGTV. At Tyler Carver. What's up? See you later. Bye.